Patty Spittler is here, brought to you by Pet Pals TV, and she's brought all the bunnies Bunny. to our studio, as well as Don Saylor of the Indiana House Rabbit Society. Good morning. Thanks for being here. So a lot of times we think of Easter. Some people get rabbits on a whim. Right. Really not something they should do. I know. It's just some. Now, I had a bunny, a bun bun, uh, oh, for 10 years <laughs> when I was a kid. I won in an Easter egg contest where you could, and my parents said, oh, Fatty Patty will never find a, the right egg that says <laughs> Easter bunny. And I got it. I got it. So he lived for a very long time. We we took care of him. So these cannot be released into the wild. They, well, I have it for a long give it out. Don, tell us about about the House Rabbit Society and, and the buddies that we have. So Indiana House Rabbit Society has been rescuing rabbits for um, 23 years. Um, Georgia, actually, the, um, over here is our 1,500th rescue. Wow. Um, so, there's a, so there's a huge, huge need for, um, for rescue, rescued bunnies. Um, rabbits are really social and intelligent. Um, they're, they're super fun for the right, for the right families. Um, we uh, we strive to me to hi baby. Um, we strive to make the best matches with right. um, rabbits in their adoptive homes. Okay. And so our adoption process is: you fill out a questionnaire, you attend an education session, and then we we help you match make to find to find okay. the best bunny. Okay. You just shouldn't release them into the wall. They won't. They won't survive. So no. this is a, is this something that happens often? Actually, it's a it's a huge problem. Um, in December, I don't know if you guys remember, but uh, 56 rabbits were released in the 42nd and Post region uh. um, of Indianapolis, and our group actually helped Indianapolis Animal Care and Control round them all up. They don't even, I mean, the wild rabbits look at these bunnies as the enemy, right? They're the domesticated and wild, not the same thing. So you're right. Um, bunnies, by their nature, are very territorial, um, and that's because of the fact that their um, their diet track runs really fast, so they have to eat all the time. So like the wild bunnies, like when a domestic bunny comes out, they're like, hey, you're going to eat my food. Um, so they uh, they tend to like pick on the other bunnies. Um, rabbits are also um, they can be picked off by predators. Um, yeah. So dogs, cats, mm -hmm. um, predators from the air like owls and hawks, um, foxes, um, raccoons, and things like that. How can people, if they see a bunny in their yard, how do they know if it's a domesticated bunny versus one that is? living out there normally in the wild? That's a great question. Um, so uh, the, our cottontails um, have a kind of like a lighter brown, we call it a goody color, where it's kind of light brown with some like little flecks of white. Um, they also have like a really like fluffy white cottontail. Um, if a bunny is any color um, other than that, or if a bunny ha does not have up ears, it has um, like flopped ears, mm. like that's another indication that it's a, uh, um, a domestic rabbit. Yeah, could you imagine? I mean, this bunny in the wild would hmm. not survive. I mean, it's white and black. So and Curly actually was released to the wild and oh, was surrendered no. to um, one of our local shelters. Oh, you're so beautiful. Were all of these you're rabbits so that same scenario? Um, so Kala actually was an owner surrendered to a shelter. Um, we um, she has a, a, um, a functional leg injury, so we pulled her. Um, Cece, um, the lion head, and Jess, the one on my lap, actually came from one of the rabbits that was released at 42nd and Post. Mm. Oh, my. Oh, my. And if people do choose to adopt a bunny, what do they need to know? There's some work. Well, lovable, definitely, but there is some work involved. So rabbits are prey animals, so you have to interact with them much differently than you would a dog or a cat, which is a predator. Huh. Um, they're very... Um, they're very, as we've already identified, very sensitive to loud noises um, when they're unexpected, like a sneeze. Um, so Jess was the one actually who was thumping, um, which is like, oh my gosh, it's a threat to my survival. Oh. Um, in addition to that, rabbits really need to be spayed or neutered. Um, you can see these bunnies are in X pens, so they need to be in a, a very large space. Um, they need daily time out of their cage to or their pen to run every day. Um, and that's because rabbits, as I mentioned you know, earlier, they're really intelligent, they need a lot of enrichment, um, and they're very social. They like to spend time with the people um, and their family members. So if you have a bunny, you would suggest a, an enclosure kind of like this, like a yes, definitely. little this pen? Would, yeah, this would be the, the, the minimum size requirement um, that, that we have, actually. Um, so basically, any living space needs, the bunny needs to be able to hop across three times, and it needs to be tall enough so that when a bunny periscopes, like Peter Rabbit, it, that its ears don't touch the top of the enclosure. Okay. 
okay, someone saw this, and they say, okay, I've, I know I can do it. They could get in touch with you, right? Indiana House Rabbit Society. Absolutely. Indiana H. What is it? HRS. HRS? <laughs> I'm not good on spelling. Uh, I got a buddy, though. This is so great. But remember, for Easter, it's not just, you know, a pet for a few days. This is a lifetime commitment that could be up to 10 years for the life of the bunny. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you guys both so much. Of course, you can watch Pet Pals TV oh. on Saturdays to 30 right here on Wish TV. You can also go to PetPalsTV.com and watch Great Day TV right before that at 10 o'clock.